Welcome back to Dinar Guru. I'm your host, Sophia. If you're passionate about the latest Iraqi Dinar updates, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment below to stay informed. So, stay tuned as we break down what this means for Iraq and its economy. The Iraqi economy has faced significant challenges over the past few decades, stemming from a combination of historical sanctions, wars, and mismanagement. Amidst this tumultuous backdrop, Iraq is preparing for a major transformation in its currency system, specifically, a redenomination of the Iraqi dinar. This process involves replacing larger 3-0 notes with new, lower denomination currency, aiming to normalize the currency's value and stabilize the economy. This article will explore the implications of this redenomination, the expected deflationary effects, and the broader economic factors at play that could force the dinar back to its nominal value. Understanding currency redenomination Currency redenomination is the process of altering the nominal value of a country's currency. In Iraq's case, this involves swapping out the existing larger 3-0 notes for new, lower denomination currency. Redenomination is not merely a cosmetic change, it is a strategic move aimed at stabilizing the economy, restoring confidence in the currency, and addressing long-standing inflation issues. The need for redenomination historical context Iraq's currency has been severely impacted by economic sanctions and geopolitical instability. The dinar has lost significant value over the years, leading to the issuance of larger denomination notes, such as the 10,000, 25,000, and 50,000 Iraqi dinars notes, to accommodate the high cost of goods and services. This situation has created a perception of worthlessness associated with the currency. Inflation and Currency Depreciation the prolonged state of inflation has eroded the purchasing power of the dinar. Citizens have found themselves carrying large amounts of cash for everyday purchases, which is not only impractical but also diminishes trust in the currency itself. Restoration of economic stability. Redenomination is seen as a step towards restoring economic stability and normalizing the currency's value. By removing higher denomination notes from circulation, the government aims to reinstate a sense of value and facilitate smoother transactions in the economy. The deflationary effect of redenomination One of the key aspects of currency redenomination is its potential to induce deflation, which essentially means that the overall price level in the economy decreases. When a government takes money out of circulation, it reduces the money supply, thereby making each remaining unit of currency more valuable. Mechanism of Deflation Reduction of Money Supply by exchanging higher denomination notes for lower ones, the central bank of Iraq can effectively reduce the overall money supply. This reduction can lead to an increase in the purchasing power of the dinar, allowing citizens to buy more with less money. Increased demand for goods. As the currency regains value, consumers may be more willing to spend, leading to increased demand for goods and services. This uptick in demand can stimulate economic growth, encouraging businesses to expand and hire more employees. Investment and foreign confidence. A more stable currency can attract foreign investment, as investors seek environments with predictable economic conditions. Increased foreign investment can further boost economic growth and improve the overall health of the Iraqi economy. Normalizing currency values in addition to reducing the money supply, redenomination is aimed at restoring the dinar to its normal value, one that reflects the true economic conditions of Iraq. For years, the dinar has been subject to a suppressed exchange rate, primarily due to a lack of trust in the currency and ongoing economic instability. The need for a normalized rate market forces in currency valuation. A normalized exchange rate would reflect the true value of the dinar in relation to other currencies. This change could encourage economic activity by providing a more accurate measure of value, helping businesses and consumers make informed decisions. Eliminating currency speculation. The current suppressed rate has led to rampant speculation in the currency market. By establishing a normalized rate, the government can reduce speculation and restore trust in the dinar as a stable currency. Supporting trade relations. A stronger, normalized dinar would improve Iraq's position in international trade, making its exports more competitive while reducing the cost of imports. This balance can help stabilize the economy and contribute to long-term growth. Steps toward normalization to achieve a normalized exchange rate, the Central Bank of Iraq must undertake several key actions, strengthening monetary policy. A robust and transparent monetary policy is essential for building confidence in the dinar. The Central Bank must commit to controlling inflation and stabilizing the currency. 
Enhancing economic fundamentals. Addressing underlying economic issues, such as unemployment, corruption, and infrastructure deficiencies, is crucial. A stronger economy will support the value of the dinar and ensure its longevity as a stable currency. Engaging with international institutions. Collaborating with international financial institutions, such as the International Monetary Fund and World Bank, can provide technical support and expertise in implementing the redenomination and stabilization processes. Broader economic factors impacting the dinar Several external and internal factors will play a significant role in the success of Iraq's redenomination efforts and the revaluation of the dinar. Understanding these variables is essential for predicting the future trajectory of the currency. Thank you.